divers. They're deep divers. And it's all for Caitlin. Same thing that the whales are eating, the puffins are eating. Exact same fish. And when a puffin dives, he can catch 10 fish in one single dive. Because the whole beat is not just for show, it's actually, there's a, it's very functional as well. The roof of the puffin's mouth is covered in four rows of spikes. They look like the barbs of a fish hook. So when he catches a fish, he pins it against the roof of his mouth using his tongue. And that way he can open his beak and catch another one. So in, like I say, in one dive, they can catch about 10 capelins. And they can fly with up to 30 capelins in their beak. And from here you can see the lovely colors of the puffin. Uh, that beak is only there for, for the summertime. They lose that in the winter. Just like a snake would shed its skin, the puffin will shed the outer layers off of the beak. And underneath the beak is kind of a charcoal gray and dull yellow. But the beak that they wear there now is purely for the purposes of seduction. Very important, it's like lipstick. <laughs> well, the puffin's made for life, folks. It's a long life, too. You take mate when you're five and you keep that mate until you die, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 25 years old. So that's 15 to 20 years with the same bird. A little bit of lipstick goes a long way after that long. It'll look good. The other secret to success if you're a puffin uh, and you're mating, Check that book. space. Every relationship, I don't care who you are, you need to look at space. You gotta have some time to go off do your own thing for a little while, forget about the other person, we'll think